All right, we're back. Hopefully the camera will stay there. I can clean the tip a little bit. Um, again, I've got some darker greens. I'm going to sort of stay on top of some of the greens with just a little bit of brighter colors. And that's going to create your, your lights and shadows a little bit. Just on sort of a little bit on top. Wouldn't that be perfect? Not much at all. Uh, let's see. That's sort of a little too light. All right. This is coming out with a little brown. You can easily just stand back and, and sputter it a bit. This is definitely a little more brown than my last ones. I had a little more green. Um, but it gives you a good idea. You can tell it's already broken up. Now, if you look in the background here, you got shadows. You know, so the black isn't terribly uh, popping right now, which is fine. Uh, you sort of want it. I've got light coming in this way. You know, it reflects the shadows. And I'm hoping that translates on camera here. Uh, pick the colors for, for what you got. Do a little more greens in here. So there, and there. Anything to break it up. Grab that satin. Kind of brighten it up. You know, that's pretty, it, 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 it's not real complicated. And essentially, using the stencils, you're using reverse. Um, clearly, I can set something on here and do another color uh, around it where it's going to be a uh, negative stencil and that's going to darken everything and leave the brown and uh, if you want to multi-layer and use masking tape you can um, you know, if I want to leave some of this lighter sketcher spots in here and darken up everything else around it I can do that and keep the can upright and you're going to see that that's still got a little bit of light coming through um, Again, it's up to you however you want to do it. Um, these are just, uh, you know, sub subduing the, uh, the can so when they're sitting over on the edge you can't see them. And that's how I camo. Thanks, guys. Alright, guys, there it is. This one ended up a little more brown. But, um, as you can see, blends are pretty good. Um, that's not really hiding it. That just happens to be... These, I don't know, they sort of wilted in the sun. They bent over. Um, it's in the shade, but you can't really see it. It's pretty good. Um, I'll probably add this on the, this video here because I'll probably upload this tonight. Um, I've had quite a few uh, emails wondering where the, uh, the bug out bag stuff is. Um, I'm going to do it all, probably 90% of it, all together. Um, so I'm working on all the different aspects of the videos and I'll probably upload all of them at the same time. Um, it'll just make more sense, it'll be more co coherent. Um, I wish I would be able to do them longer than 10 minutes, uh, so it'd be easier to, to view. Um, but they are coming along, uh, coming along fine. I'm just, I kind of want to get all the content, the major content together. And then uh, we'll update it as I sort of do with the bug out vehicles, uh, you know, Individual gears, individual ideas will pop on to the backside. Uh, but I still want to get the bulk of the series done uh, before I upload any of them. So, uh, for any of you watching, um, that's what's happening. Thanks, guys.